up everybody, happy 3rd of July. We'll be talking about arms. Uh, before I do that, today would have been my mom's birthday. So without her, it would be no videos. So you guys better be nice. Uh, arms, okay? Biceps, triceps. So when training arms or any muscle, always think about what does the muscle do, right? Who is your daddy and what does, no, no. So let's say triceps, right? If I stand like so, let my arms fall, they fall like this, right? So I need to find something that does this for my triceps. So by that logic, using this bar makes no sense because now I'm doing this, which is a shoulder press. So one way to set it up is take the narrow cable and go cross body, right? And really, like, ideally, I would have somebody standing behind me where I can push the arms into, and I just go just like this, right? And really create the most tension, because the goal is always to shove origin and insertion together, right? Shorten them as much as I can. So if you don't have this, you could use a long rope. That would work as well. So that's the contracted position. Now the question is, what about the stretch position? So, again, is this a nine? Hi, we have a little guest, my daughter, hi. So, for the stretch position, right, the triceps do this, okay, overhead. So, if you look at Arnold over there, he's got that down pretty well, right? He's doing this, but most people, when they do anything overhead, they do this or that, and they're shortening those muscles, like the, the delts, right? So to set it up, again, use the narrow cable and go uh, kind of like so. And now I'm forcing my upper arms into doing what I want, right? So nothing else. So now, and getting the perfect stretch without shortening any other muscle but the triceps. Um, depending on how busy your gym is or so, this could be done with a tricep extension on the floor where you go shoulder blade down and then use gravity to bring the dumbbell down without hitting yourselves just like so, stretching long. Because you have nowhere else to go but use the tricep. So by the same token, when you're training the biceps, so if I'm standing, I do this, right? So now, if I was gonna curl a barbell or a dumbbell like this, that wouldn't quite hit the muscle, right? So what I could do is I could, I could take this dumbbell, let's say, and I could lean a little bit and sort of mimic. So that's one way. Or I could find something that does this. Um, once again, the narrow cable works quite well. Where I could be going like this, take a small step out and just curl up like this, right? So here, the main resistance would be at the bottom, think stretch position. And then I could do, I don't know, two, three sets, probably three. Then I could turn around and use the same apparatus, but now, my resistance is on the top. So this way, I have covered the strength curve all through. So the bottom line is, instead of blindly setting up a workout, always think, how does this muscle work? And how can I shorten it? And whatever then works within your gym and for your body, that's what you're doing, as opposed to Oh, he's got big arms, let me do that. He might have big arms despite his workouts, not because of. So, a happy birthday, mom, and we're out.
Big disclaimer, all the videos are just tips, you can only give tips. If you need somebody qualified, email me or come here. My God.